don't have a lot of books to unhaul, but this was necessary. So I was just kind of going through my bookshelves because I wanted to put away some of the new books I've gotten in the past couple of weeks slash months and I realized I didn't really have anywhere to put all of these books and I should probably go through my shelves and take some books away that I'm just either A not going to read, B I can't see myself ever rereading, and C just anything that does not need to be on my shelves. Also I can kind of tell that my reading tastes are changing so you might see a few more unhauls over the next couple of months. Okay so the first two books are from the same authors and I just don't think that I'm in the mood for these books anymore and I did read one of these books or at least half of it and it just didn't really mesh with me very well and that is always never yours and also if I'm being honest both by Emily Wiberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. I really like these authors as people they're really really cool but I did read a lot of this book and I just didn't really like it all that much. I felt like the characters were a little too simplistic. I felt like the plot was a little too simplistic. I couldn't really connect with any of the characters which meant that I didn't end up really caring about them so it was just really disappointing. And then with this book I kind of looked at it and I was like I don't think I'm ever going to read this book so I just kind of decided that these two were books that I wanted to get rid of and make some more room up on my shelves. The next two are also by the same author. Not the same author as the first books, but also by the same author. I don't know, does that make sense? So these books are A Curse of Dark and Lonely and then also A Heart So Fierce and Broken. This is actually an arc and I was so excited when I got this arc and then it's been quite a while since I got it and I just have never thought about it ever again and I've just kind of completely forgotten everything that's happened in this book. So I feel like I would have to reread A Curse of Dark and Lonely just to get to the sequel and I really don't like doing that. <laughs> I just hate rereading books that I don't really have like a specific connection to and I didn't really have a connection to this one unfortunately. I do think that it is the best Beauty and the Beast retelling that I've ever read or that might even be out there on the market but I really just feel kind of meh about it now which is really sad because I did really enjoy this book when I first read it but now being kind of a year removed from reading it I really just don't care. The next couple of books are also arcs and this one is I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. I got this arc from Y'all West last year and I read it immediately and I loved it. I gave it four out of five stars but I just really wanted to clear off some room on my arc shelf. Just get rid of ones that I've either already read and don't see myself rereading or arcs that I just don't think I'm ever going to read. So this one is one I just don't see myself rereading. However, once I'm able to start donating books again, I definitely want to donate this one, mainly because I feel like there are going to be so many non-binary people that really need to see this kind of representation because it is such an amazing book and I feel like they might value this book way more than I did. The next arc is The Candle in the Flame by Nafisa Azad and I feel like this is a book that I would much rather read as an audiobook and I don't see myself ever getting to the arc because I've had it for quite a while and I just haven't thought of picking it up which is kind of sad because I was super interested in this book but I feel like when I kind of leave books for so long I just start to lose interest in them which is a little disappointing. Clearly I got this arc over a year ago because the book went on sale on May 14th 2019 and we're already in May of 2020 so um, I think that I've kind of missed the boat on my interest for this book. The next arc is another one that I just never reached for ever and that is Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron and I'm just not interested in this book anymore. I feel like if I ever do end up wanting to read this book in the future I'll either get it from my library or I will check out the audiobook but either way I just don't feel the need to have this on my shelf anymore and I'd rather donate it. The next two books are ones that I was super excited about and that is The Girl at Midnight and also The Shadow Hour both by Melissa Gray. I read this book for one of the I think two years ago during the Latinx book bingo readathon and I really enjoyed it. I can't remember if I gave it a four out of five stars or not but I did really enjoy it when I was reading it. The writing is so beautiful and the characters are super interesting. However, it has been two years since I read it and I don't really remember a lot about the plot. So I feel like if I was to get to the sequel, I would have to reread this book 
and I just don't feel like doing that. I'm not super interested in this series anymore, but if you are looking for something similar to Lainey Taylor, then this is the book for you. I just don't feel like I'm there in that headspace anymore. And the very last book is one I have debated taking off my shelves for quite a while. Every time I think of unhauling books, this is kind of the first one that I reach for. And then I just put it back on my shelves. And that is Bloodleaf by Crystal Smith. And going on Goodreads and kind of reading through some of the reviews and, you know, seeing the sequel, I've just lost a lot of interest in this book and I don't see myself ever reaching for it in the near future, which is kind of a problem and I don't want to have a book like that on my shelf. I don't really think that this is problematic in any sort of way, at least not from what I've heard or seen in reviews, but it just doesn't seem like something that's going to interest me anymore. All right, so those were all the books that I'm going to unhaul today and there weren't very many, I know, but there are so many books when I'm like just looking at my shelves. And then when I really get up close to do an unhaul and kind of like really look at each book individually. It doesn't seem like so many books and I'm like there's so many ones that I'm just so interested in and that I could see myself picking up like tomorrow but it's just kind of a matter of getting through all of them. There's so many and I really don't want certain books just taking up space just to take up space. I want to make sure that I have room for books that I actually genuinely want to read and have a lot of interest in or books that I want to reread or my favorite books, you know, just books that mean a lot to me. So I think that that's super important. I probably need to do more book on hauls, but for now, I think this will be a good stack. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.